Hey, what's up? What's going on? It's your girl, Mary Jane. Please like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It would be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, my peace, my peoples. So let's talk Empire. Season 4, Episode 1, Noble Memory. Too bad Lucius is acting like he don't remember nothing. Because I know he remembers something. Lucius is playing games. Isn't he playing games? And what's up with Cookie? And what's up with the family letting this nurse Claudia come in and take over? Just like totally like take over with Lucius. You know, that's going to bite them in the end. It's just like she's coming in. It's like she is putting memories into Lucius's head. And she's actually making Lucius kind of like fall in love with her. And she's she even had on Anika's dress. Can you believe that? And how how do they let somebody come in? and snatch the prize they finally got it but they let somebody come in and snatch the prize they should be able to take care of lucius hire the person they want to hire and not this nurse claudia because she has ulterior motives so let's start let's begin so it begins with the 20 year anniversary <laughs> i said that all messed up it begins with the 20 year anniversary of empire lucius lion everything and, you know, Lucius really need to be there because the boss people, the, the board of directors, you know, Wall Street investors, they want to see how Lucius is doing. Is he oh well? Is he okay? Is he able to control this company? Is this company still going to be making money even though he got hurt and almost blown away? They ain't feeling like they want to know if he can make money for them. And it's just like, so um, Cookie, she's doing an interview about the anniversary about the anniversary she's like almost crying and you know she was like lucius oh i'm so hurt and i don't know if it was real that she but it's like cookie always falls back into lucius arms she always falls in love with lucius i don't know why but i guess that's how childhood sweetheart but when andre does an interview he got kind of choked up because he didn't know he wanted to really say if he had to choose his father or the empire it was definitely gonna be the empire that's what he wanted and so now we see that Lucius Lion is missing one leg. He's walking with a cane and he doesn't have his memories or is he playing games? And is he going to make this new Lady Claudia the head of Empire? What is Lucius going to do with this newfound memory? Because he's not going to be nice too long. He's not going to be humble for too long. And if he is, that means the enemies are going to come in and turn on a new leaf on the Lucius Lions family and the Lions because the in the the enemies are out to get them and they don't even know the enemies are surrounding the lions and they too confused to to not even know what's going on it's crazy it's like maybe if lucius was normal or he had his old memories would he remember you know who's his enemies are because we have jamal Jamal is running around with Warren, and Warren is Mrs. Duba, you know, grandson or her son, her grandson or some. She's he's related to her, and she's using him to get at Jamal. And Jamal, even though Jamal is taking the slow because he's worried about his father, but they kind of like showing that Warren has feelings for Jamal, kinda. But his grandmother is not trying to, Mrs. Duba is not trying to hear that. She wants him to, she's like, it's been five months. It's been five months since Lucius got blown up. I want to see some results. She is not playing. And she also has, you know, Warren in there. And she also has, you know, um, Hakeem. How is Hakeem so gullible? The most gangsterous of the lions acting like he's gangster. He's hardcore. But yet he's letting his enemy come in and blackmail him. He could have got his daughter back told thirsty what was good told lucius what was good told his mother what was good i even told sean what was good <laughs> and no he didn't so now he's playing fiddle with mrs dubai and she has she's blackmailing him she has something over his head i guess blackmail is the thing of of uh, september blackmailing <laughs> <laughs> so and it's just like you know Hakeem how how can you be so gullible you see how gutter you see how your family is why are you letting this woman blackmail you why won't you tell your family because it's gonna hurt in the end but he's real soft he acts tough but he's real soft and you know even though he want you know wanted to do it to get his daughter back Bella but in the meantime, he's over here working along with his enemy, the person's trying to bring down his family. And then we also find out that Anik is still in jail. Anik is locked out. 
um, locked up and, you know, um, Hakeem is telling us that, hey, listen, she can't even get bail. And, you know, Grandma Lucius, <laughs> Grandma, Mrs. Walker, she, she, she completed that murder. She did that. <laughs> so we have that situation. <clears throat> So, Anika has not sang like a bird yet, and is she ever going to sing like a bird? Because she know I know Anika knows that uh, Mrs. Walker set her up. So, but does she, but Anika doesn't know that Lucius is all messed up, because if she does know that he's messed up, will she sing to the police? And is she the one talking to the police? Because Andre's nervous about the police, because um he gets a visit from Thirsty, and Thirsty walks in and was like, hey, what's up, boss? He was like, don't call me boss, because Andre's like, I ain't boss yet. My name ain't on the deed. I'm not in charge of empire. So, him and Thirsty are um, conversating to make sure they keep their stories together, make sure... You know, Andre has a story together about Juliana because somewhere, somehow, Juliana's supposed to be in the picture, and but Juliana's supposed to be dead because that's what Shine is saying. But we have seen stranger things. So we'll see if Juliana's um, people are the ones snitching. We don't know yet, but we'll find out. And so, you know, Thursday's trying to let, you know, um, Andre know that he needs to make sure his story is straight about the bombing. He heard, you know, he was, he heard Lucius and he heard, um, Juliana in the alley talking to, talking about Lucius betrayed me. He hurt me. And, um, so I'm going to get him. I'm going to get revenge on him and all that other good stuff. And so, you know, Andre has a story straight. He's cool, but now he's nervous. And then, you know, Lucius, I mean, um, Cookie, she gets confronted um, by Becky and some other representatives talking about, hey, people really want to see Lucius lying. Wall Street don't want to invest. We got to do this. We got to do that. And so she was like, yo, talk to Andre about it. So Andre comes in. He does his thing. And... Um, but Andre takes off, he bounces, he goes to see none other than Shine to find out, yo, Shine, what's going on with Juliana? Is she dead? What's going on? What's real? Because, you know, somebody's talking to the popo, somebody's talking to the police. And, um, I don't know if Thirsty is actually, he could be actually kind of seeing, messing, trying to figure out who really, you know, tried to take Lucius out. Because even though Thirsty, you know, switched up, switched sides because, you know, um, Lucius turned his back on um, Thirsty because of Juliana. But Thirsty might just be throwing Juliana and just to get Andre nervous. But we don't know. We'll find out. So Andre's over there with, you know, Shine at the cookout. And Shine is cooking some ribs or whatever. He's talking about who wants their meat bloody. And only one person said, I want my meat bloody. And he goes, you guys are a bunch of bees. I was like, come on, Shine. And so Shine was like, yo, if she's, she, only way she's talking, if she is zombies and zombies don't talk. But Andre's still nervous. He knows something going on. Shine is like, Shine is upset. And why did Shine lock the grill up? Is it, yeah, people gonna be still in, look at Shine on the grill cooking that food. And so we'll see with that situation. And, you know, Miss De, Mrs. DeBoss, she just walks right into, you know, um, what's his name um Hakeem's crib like with her security guys all white like she's the queen like she's nothing but purity and she was like listen you better keep bringing Bella over to my house every Tuesday or whatever weekend or whatever day and if you don't I have proof because you know Hakeem tried to get out of place it's like Hakeem is like a child and his that's why his mother treats him like a child and that's why Mrs. Dubois tweeted treating him like a child so um, he's being blackmailed. We already know what's going on with that situation. And Warren better do his job and Mrs. Dubois is going to come after him. And he's trying to prove himself to Mrs. Dubois, Mrs. Dubois because, you know, he doesn't want to be nothing like his father. So I guess we'll find out what type of man Warren's father is if he's ever going to come up in the picture. And how is Warren going to hurt Jamal? Is he going to get evidence on him? Is he going to, you know, get him back on drugs? Is he going to break his heart? Or is he going to try to get his secrets? Do, what is he gonna what is he what is his angle in trying to hurt Jamal we'll see because we know Mrs. Dubai she wants each of um Cookie's um lion um kids 
to her and to be destroyed like the way Cookie destroyed her son Angelo and his career and what she built and she ain't playing with Cookie. She got all day for Cookie. While Cookie's over here running around trying to get, you know, Lucius lying together to run this company, Mrs. Dubai got all day getting massages and making sure she gets Cookie and her kids. <laughs> she ain't playing. <laughs> she ain't playing. And so, um, um, what's his name? Shine. He goes to the, he goes to Empire headquarters or whatever. And he sees back and he was like, and so now he knows his real, he knows Jamal's just, I mean, he knows Andre is, is not just, you know, paranoid cause he sees the Vegas police in there. So he, he asks, you know, Becky, what's going on? The Vegas police are here. He was, she was like, yeah, I told him you did it. And he's like, ha 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 funny. Like, cause he really did do it. <laughs> And then he's all trying to sweet talking about her, sweet talking her, talking about let me get some of that, let me get some of them ribs, cause you know he likes his meat medium rare, <laughs> and he likes big pieces of ribs. He, you see how he was chopping that meat. So now he's nervous, and he, and so, but also, you know, Becky was like, you know, um, they was asking some questions about some pop stars, and they was talking about this guy named Franco Bomber, Franco something, and so. You know, Shine is like, oh my goodness, I know who that is. Shine was like, I got to go handle business. Andre was right. But the thing about it is, Andre and Shine, when it was talking at the cookout, Andre and Shine still trying to get Empire. It seems like they're never going to get Empire. And how are they going to get Empire? They better get Claudia out the way if they want Empire, you know? And, you know... <laughs> It's just like, wow. And I don't see how Andre's letting it fly that this lady, Claudia, is all inside the house. She's all inside the crib. She's taking over, and she's all in the father's all in the father's way. He should know that so many people come into his father's life and try to take over the company or he gives the company to or he has he lets them have power as well. So I'm surprised he's not picking up on that. You know, Claudia the nurse, Claudia the psychologist is playing them all and she's playing and number one of all, she's playing Lucius. Or are they playing together? So we'll see. So um so yeah, so they so but you know it's just like and, Andre and um, Shine is just still like focused on taking on Empire, and you know Shine is like, well, Cookie's running Empire, not you. And then so Jamal, I mean, so Andre thinks that his father's gonna get his memory back and give him back the company. That's likely not to happen. We know that's not gonna happen. If Lucius wake up, he's still not gonna give the company back. You watch because he's studying all his kids' behavior. If he if he doesn't have his memory, but he does say one thing about um his son Andre he goes he's very smart he's very strong and he never felt that way about him before so we'll see and you know Lucius and these memory blocks and this nurse you know telling them what they can't do what they can do just like controlling them and I don't see how these people are letting that happen they don't let anything else control them they don't let the cops they don't let the police they don't let relationships they don't let nothing else control them but they're letting this lady control them but I guess they really think that she is going to help him bring back his memory in five months let's start let's do something new because it seems like Lucius does want to know his memories but it seems like Lucius also is humble too as well so we'll see what happens. So they all sit at the dinner table. Oh, tell me that how tell me Lucia's Lion House ain't nice. <laughs> it's nice. And he puts on he he only likes one song from all his music because he's been trying to listen to his music, look at pictures and everything, and he's not remembering anything. But he does like one song and he also has a question is why don't he see Cookie in none of these pictures? He was like, Was you behind the camera? She was like he was she was like, No, nah, I was gone for seventeen years but he doesn't know that yet and he seems so deeply hurt. You know, but not knowing that she was, she went to jail for him for 17 years. So anyways, we get back to the dinner table. And so um, they end up telling Lucius that, hey, you know, you didn't write that song. Um, Cookie actually wrote that song. And he was like, I didn't give you any credit for it. Your name is not on the, on the album or anything. Your name is not on the master. He was like, how did you feel about that? So everybody starts to fight, you know, um, um, what's his name? Hakeem got to get all about it, about it, rowdy, rowdy, talking about, I'm tired of this crap. My father's lying. He's this, he's that. I want him back to normal. I'm tired of playing these games. He's all like, so he's like some cripple. He's like this, he's like that. But yeah, he's being blackmailed by Mrs. Uh, Dubose. So we, Mrs. Duba, we don't want to hear what you got to say. Hakeem, because you're doing, you're doing your family dirty and it's gonna, I don't know what, um, Mrs. Dubai is going to use you for. 
because if she finds out the really calm and peaceful thing is that baby is Bella what is she gonna do to Bella is she gonna really have Bella disappear or what is she gonna do to hurt the lions how is she is she gonna take that baby away was she using um him coming to visit her with the baby that she's been counseling him she's been helping him she's been helping him take care of the baby because he has these problems and try to get custody of the baby she's gonna kidnap the baby again poison the baby what is she gonna do she's gonna set him up with drugs but she, mrs duba is going to do something to hakeem and Hakeem ain't gonna even see it coming. So, anyways, they're at the table, and then um, they all start. Hakeem is getting upset. He's yelling, and then that's when you know um, Jamal jumps in. And was like, "Won't you stop acting like that? Won't you stop acting like you gangster? You from the hood? You you was born with a silver spoon in your mouth, fool!" And so then um, Lucius get all upset. He gets mad. He's just, and then he runs off. They thinking he's he's he kind of like hops off hop off into the deck where the water is I think he's gonna jump in but he doesn't they catch him and everything is going so far as planned but ain't nothing changing with Lucius right now but Lucius did go to the anniversary he did do a show and you know when the nurse sat down with Lucius and was trying to get Lucius to um come down and get him to concentrate so he can go on stage and introduce himself to you know his fans or whatever she said to him focus on what is real it's right in front of you and so it seems like she's doing mind control on him just like get out the movie get out with the teacup stirring it seems like she's doing mind control and that's when cookie jumped and said me me i'm real i'm real and it's like they're letting this nurse get away with bloody murder and so you know um lucia's going on stage she's doing his thing but cookie and, but also with the with Claudia wearing Anika's dress, she's feeling comfortable. She's feeling like a lion. Maybe she's gonna marry Lucius and take the company from him. Who knows? She's gonna do something, or write all these kids off and Cookie. And so um, Lucius' um, song that you know, "Love Me," that Cookie wrote. He has his two sons perform the song, and Cookie and Lucius are sitting at the table and they're holding hands, and the nurse is looking, but she's looking with envy. She's looking with hate, and she's looking with disgust because she had because her and Lucius are gonna hook up or already have hooked up, and Lucius already attracted to her because when Lucius was outside with her, Cookie looked at them, and Lucius asked um, Claudia for a kiss. Claudia said no. Cause she's she cause she's streaming she's stringing him along like bait till she fully have him in control. But Cookie gets upset and tries to throw out Claudia, but yet she still keeps Claudia. Then Claudia looks at her like, "Yes, I got one up on you. You don't know nothing." So then we get to um, Andre calls Shine was like, "Yo, what's going on?" Like he's still nervous about this investigation with the Vegas police because I don't know if Juliana or her people because you know G Juliana was working with two other people before that you know people that was cool with her husband so are they around in the picture or is thirsty making it up so then we get to um shine is following um franco the bomber and he finds franco and he blows him away while he's on the phone with you know andre so is that call going to be traced if they if the cops ever get the information We'll see what happens. And it's Aniko in jail telling the telling what's going on with um Lucius Lyon's brother and that family. But we'll see what happens. Mm -mm -mm. Claudia. Claudia fake. It is. And so um what's her name? Cookie was like, You gonna remember me. I'm cooking lion. I'm unforgettable. You'll remember me. So peace, I'm out. Until next time. Empire's back on oh, my peeps, my peoples. Hit me up. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video. Peace.